historian, uh, military historian and, and author, author of the book, Their Backs Against the Sea, the, Bi the Battle of Saipan and the Largest Bonsai Attack of World War II. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. This was somewhat new information to me. Tell me, what was the Battle of Saipan? Well, one of the most important things about Saipan was the 30,000 Japanese troops that were sworn to die there to defend it, and most of them did exactly that. But another was the island's location, and it was uh, 1,260 miles from Japan, which was close enough to Tokyo and the rest of Japan's industrial cities to uh, that B-29s could uh, fly there and back safely, and that was that was basically the war. The uh, the Battle of Saipan was during World War II. Yes, it was. And why was it so important? What about this island um, made it so important that the the U.S. Army would send uh, troops there to take it back? Well, uh, it was a. <laughs> With the B-29 successful trips to Tokyo and Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they turned out to be as much uh, of an answer to the war as the invasion of Europe, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was why they uh, they were so important to America. But yeah. the average American didn't understand that at the time. He uh, just thought it was a, a, another battle. Right. And uh, This is not a big island, either. Uh, it's not a very big island. It's about 14 miles long and five miles across, uh, and that's uh, it, it's uh, it was fairly heavily populated, but uh, it had a lot of uh, uh, places, people that had been brought there from other places, and uh, not not necessarily civilians. Right. Now, what makes your book so fascinating is this: uh, this was a, a fierce battle that raged on for weeks. Um, when the U.S. thought that it would not last more than a few days. Yeah, the uh, the initial uh, expectation was that it was going to last three days, and it lasted 24. So uh, it was uh, it was a lot longer battle than they thought, and it cost a lot more casualties. The the Japanese um, had a way of of fighting uh, back then. Uh, that made it even more difficult, and that is their willingness to give up their lives, the, the, the suicide attack. Um, talk right. about that, how that played out on, during the Battle of Saipan. Well, it played out very well. I mean, there, there was almost nobody to surrender uh, when the war was over, when the battle was over, and uh, uh, it, uh, it claimed a lot of American lives. Uh, it really did, and... Uh, I think that uh, anybody that was there will remember the battle always. You know, I've talked to a few of them, and and they do that. That that's what they think about. The uh, some of the personal stories you just say you, you you talk to people that were there, but also the stories that have been handed down. What stories gripped you the most? Well, uh, it's hard to say really, but. Uh, I think that just the the young men, uh, a lot of them 17, 18 years old, who um, you know gave their lives to uh, to conquer the island, and uh, that to me was the most t telling thing about the story. You talk about in the book um, the, the casualties, and they were great on both sides at the end of these 24 days. Uh, talk about that if you would. Well, I mean. Uh, they were wounded in every uh, in every uh, sense of the word, and uh, a lot of them were uh, were uh, soldiers from the twenty uh, seventh Infantry, and uh, they did uh, they didn't um, they hardly knew what was happening to them because uh, there was so much bloodshed and everything. It says that 22,000 civilian inhabitants from the island were dead, and 3,400 American forces um, perished in the battle. Right. Um, and that's just in, in three. But at the very end, um, the Japanese uh, kind of in, kind of went on a, a last final charge, if you will. Yes, yes, they did. And there and, was about yeah. three or four thousand of them uh, that charged the American lines, and. Uh, most of them were killed, uh, but it took a lot of American lives, too. 
the uh, fascinating book, Bill Sloan, uh, Their Backs Against the Sea, The Battle of Saipan, and the Largest Bonsai Attack of World War II. Um, the book's available now uh, at all your bookstores, I assume, and on the interweb, Amazon, and so forth? Yes, right, right. And pick it up. Bill Sloan, uh, Their Backs Against the Sea. Thank you so much for talking to us about the book.